Today we're going to be demonstrating how to use the new Stone Pro hydraulic beaver chisel machine. Fabricators have been pitching edges on stone for years. If you want to have that old world or rustic look, that's what you need to do. If you've ever pitched stone with a hammer and a chisel, you know how fatiguing it can be. It is very time consuming, it's very risky, and it's also very tedious. Not only do you have to pitch the top edge, but then you have to flip the piece over and actually pitch the other edge as well. The hydraulic beaver simplifies the process of being able to pitch the edge without having to do it by hand. It will do both the top edge and the bottom edge with one pass. Take the lid off. And now we're ready to remove the device from the shipping crate. Now you'll notice that there are two main components in this device. You have the actual pump itself and the working platform in which is the unit that is actually going to be doing the work. This is what we will call the anvil or the working platform. We need to replace the plug with the breather cap. It's located in, a, in one of the baggies that are provided in the new shipping crate. Okay, we're going to go ahead and screw the breather cap into the reservoir tank. This is the lower chisel for most practical uh, applications. This is the chisel that you're going to want to use for 3CM material. If you're going to be doing uh, like a thicker stuff that's laminated, you'll want to go to the other chisel that we provide that is a little bit smaller. And that takes in uh, consideration for the material thickness. So you'll notice here that this one is much shorter on the head than this one. But this is the one on the left that you're going to notice is the one that you are typically going to be using. We're going to place the lower chisel into the lower jaw on the working platform. Now we're going to take the adjustment bolt and screw it into the bottom of the jaw. You'll notice here that as I screw that in, it's actually raising the chisel. And that's okay, because that's what it's going to have to do once we get the adjustment for the thickness of the material. We need to make the uh, hydraulic connection from the hydraulic line that comes off of the pump to the actual uh, hydraulic cylinder. There is a cover that covers the actual nipple. All we have to do to make this connection is put it on there like so. have your handy uh, wrench and just tighten that down. All right, now we're ready to make the connection to the actual pump itself. Okay, we're going to just simply connect this fitting, the hydraulic line to the working platform into the actual pump itself and you simply line it up until it clicks. Now we're going to connect the electrical. Simply line up the correct prongs give it a quarter of a turn, locking the connection. Okay, now we just have to plug our pump into a power source. Now we're ready to set the adjustment bolt for the lower chisel to the correct height of the stone that we're going to be chiseling. You simply just have to take the working platform, put it in place as if you were going to chisel with it, and you will see how easy this is to set your height. And you're going to have to tighten that so that it raises the lower chisel, and you can see that it, it, it's raising the lower chisel. Our optimum distance away from the bottom of the stone is about a 32nd of an inch. We're ready to chisel now. All we simply have to do is turn the pump on and get to work. I've simply taken a rail and moved it back two and a quarter inches from the front side, from the cut side. I've clamped my substrate, aluminum substrate down to the piece itself and that will be my guide that I will simply use the back side of the working platform to ride against as we proceed down the edge. Always make sure you use your safety glasses when you're operating. Safety glasses are important. Okay, you'll notice how I'm getting some buildup in between the throat of the jaw and the actual chisel. That is easily remedied by simply just taking the uh, 
working platform and giving it a swift jerking motion and that generally makes this fall. Or you can dump it out too. If for some reason that you get a serious jam in there, we simply need to take the working platform, set it up on the workpiece, and then make sure that we go turn the power unit off before we risk putting our fingers in there and having an accident. Okay, now I'd like to demonstrate chiseling a 6cm piece. It's two 3cm pieces that have been laminated together. But before we do that, we need to change out the lower chisel from the standard chisel to the smaller headed chisel allowing for the thicker material. I'm going to go ahead and put my safety glasses on. We take the working platform and at this time we need to raise the lower chisel until it's just barely touching the bottom of the stone. We're ready to chisel.